So my dear students, uh, this is my next video where I'll be explaining uh, principles of classical conditioning. So the first principle we have is acquisition. So acquisition is a phase of classical conditioning where a neutral stimulus is repeatedly paired with an unconditioned stimulus. So here, the unconditioned stimulus was food. Okay, referring back to uh, the, the example, the experiment conducted by Pavlov on dog. The unconditioned stimulus was food and neutral stimulus was the sound of the bell. When this pairing was done during second stage, okay, this pairing was done repeatedly, the dog had acquired a habit to drool over the sound of the bell. Okay, because this is acquired because dog is not meant to drool over the sound of the bell. Dog should should not saliva it when the dog when dog hears the sound of the bell, but the dog acquires it because of the conditioning. Okay, so this is the initial stage of learning. <clears throat> Next principle we have is extinction. Extinction is nothing but the decrease of the behavior, decrease or di disappearance of the learned behavior. So when dog knew that sound of the bell means food is coming and the dog starts to drool. But oh, when you just ring the bell without giving food for a certain number of times, repeatedly you do that, dog will stop behaving that way dog will not drool anymore over the sound of the bell okay so this means that behavior as being behavior of drooling over the sound of the bell has been extinct it is it has disappeared but extinction doesn't mean that it's gone forever it doesn't mean that it is not there the learned behavior is there but the dog doesn't respond it that way any longer. So next we have spontaneous recovery. So why extinction doesn't mean that it is gone forever because there is this principle of spontaneous recovery. So when you ring the bell and you start giving food, no, dog will start to drool over again dog will not take any time to uh, recover his learned behavior okay so once or twice you do that and later on again you just ring the bell dog will salivate okay so next we have is stimulus generalization so it is like generalizing different stimulus as one stimulus if the stimulus are similar then we generalize it. For example, going back to the experiment on Albert, so where uh, he was made to be fear of all kind of furry animals. First, he was made to afraid of only rats, okay, by hitting uh, the rod, by making loud, uh, loud noise, he was scared of rats but he generalized this stimulus to other furry animals for example he was afraid of rabbits he was afraid of fluffy dogs cats again he was afraid of fur coats and all so he generalized similar kind of stimulus and he responded to all stimulus in the same way so another example is here of, of ringing of the phone or the doorbell if you have similar kind of sound so of your doorbell and of your uh, phone sometimes we get confused no? even our phones at home uh, have different uh, ringtones your parents have different your siblings have different but sometimes you have this similar kind of uh, ringtone and you get confused whose phone is ringing next we have stimulus discrimination so here this is opposite of stimulus generalization okay in stimulus discrimination the learner is able to discriminate between different stimulus even if the stimulus are similar so here uh, for uh, going back to the experiment on dog the dog was able to discriminate between the sound of the bell and the sound of the doorbell 
okay if the doorbell was rung dog wouldn't salivate but only if that bell rang uh, the dog would have would salivate okay so even we are uh, we can discriminate between different kind of bells like a church bell a school bell no or uh, a doorbell you can see that church bell rings differently okay you and again those bells in temples they ring differently again uh, you have bells in your school which rings diff differently so we can just make out by this uh, ability of discriminating stimulus so these are the key principles five key principles of uh, classical conditioning theory hope you guys have understood and uh, i will come up with another video with some other theories